Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Virgin Orbit addresses their failed first launch attempt, Waco YMF-5F is certified, and AAA reveals first quarter market report. Welcome, I'm Sophie Herlock. After having to cancel their first launch attempt on Sunday due to sensor issues, the Virgin Orbit team tried to get on Memorial Day to launch a rocket from the belly of their 747 carrier aircraft Cosmic Girl. And while they did get the chance to release a rocket, things went downhill shortly after. The Launcher 1 liquid-fueled two-stage rocket angled skyward about 27 degrees, as expected, at the moment of release. After a four-second free fall, the first stage engine, Newton 3, was supposed to ignite and allow the vehicle to accelerate to more than 8,000 miles an hour before staging and allowing the second stage to finish the trip to orbit. However, that didn't happen. On this failed first launch attempt, Virgin Orbit President and CEO Dan Hart stated, we ignited the first stage, we then guided the rocket to its trajectory, and at that point we did have an issue uh, in the system and the engine shut down. Clearly some disappointment that we, we didn't get to finish the flight and, and take it to orbit, but we were all prepared for that. We collected an enormous amount of data, verifying air launch, separation of the rocket, control of the rocket. We've got an enormous amount of data about the aerodynamics in free space, in powered flight, and we verified our controls algorithms as we guided the rocket with our first stage engine. Stick around because we'll be right back with Around the Patch. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Swift Fuels proudly introduces the Forever Avgas STC. One simple upfront purchase entitles the Forever STC certificate holder to receive all current and future Avgas STCs that the FAA issues to Swift Fuels. The best part? It's priced today at only $100, and the prepaid certificate never expires. Get your Forever Avgas STC today at swiftfuelsavgas.com. Welcome back, it's time for today's trip around the patch. The NBAA joined with other industry stakeholders in a petition requesting the FCC reconsider its approval of Legato Network's proposed high-speed broadband cellular network operating near frequency bands currently used by GPS and satellite communications networks. The petition identifies several concerns with the FCC's April 20th order of approval for the nationwide 5G cellular service, including Legato's failure to sufficiently demonstrate its ability to act as a good neighbor and not interfere with other frequencies. Formerly known as Light Squared, Legato has failed twice since 2012 to win approval for deployment of its low-power 5G network. Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University's Board of Trustees voted unanimously to reopen the institution's residential campuses in Florida and Arizona for face-to-face -face instruction on June 30th. The university will be using its path forward strategy to ensure the safety of their faculty, staff, and students as they open campuses back up. ERAU has also made modifications to their campus policies, such as requiring PPE to be worn in dining areas and classrooms, enhancing the cleaning of surfaces, and enforcing social distancing. Two people were rescued from an aground houseboat in the Napa River Friday morning by the Coast Guard. After being contacted by the Napa Police Department, a Coast Guard Air Station San Francisco Dolphin helicopter arrived on the scene and lowered a rescue swimmer who hoisted both passengers. The passengers were then transferred to Napa County Airport to await emergency medical services and Napa Police Department personnel. UND officials have announced a phased plan to resume student flight training, which calls for some students to resume training as early as this week. Because of the phased nature of the restart, UND Aerospace urges students not to return to campus until notified by UND flight operations of their targeted start date. Even with the restart, state directives concerning individuals traveling to North Dakota from other countries remain unchanged. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. 
Well, hello, fellow flight instructor. You know, it's been over a month now since we all started working and studying from home, and we hope we'll all be able to get back in the cockpit soon. But until then, King Schools is offering an even better deal on our flight instructor refresher courses. Right now, you can get our FERC for only $93. Plus, you get our King Schools Aviation e-library free with your FERC purchase. Use the code HOME when you order. Affordable and economical, Pipistrol is proud to present the Alpha Trainer. Offering excellent fuel efficiency and a durable composite design, the Alpha Trainer can be operated from virtually anywhere. Whether you're a first-time aircraft owner, assembling a fleet, or running a flight school, the Light Sport Alpha Trainer from Pipistrol is a dynamic option. Learn more about what the Pipistrol Alpha Trainer can do for you at pipistrol-usa.com. After several years of engineering milestones and flight testing, WACO Aircraft has announced issuance of full FAA certification on the WACO YMF-5F, the new production open cockpit biplane on amphibious floats. Delivery of the first certified YMF-5F SN-155 took place yesterday and will be followed by a second delivery in June. A wing walk has been added to the right wing and grab handles have been integrated into both lower wings for effortless docking from either side. The frame receives an epoxy coating to prevent corrosion, and all hardware and cabling are stainless steel. It's also the only Waco with landing gear controls. Each YMF-5F is well equipped with a zero-time 300 horsepower 7-cylinder Jacobs radial engine, a composite constant speed propeller by MT, Aeroset 3400 composite floats, and all LED lighting. Three people can enjoy the heated cockpits, which can be outfitted with premium leather, teak and holly flooring, and a full glass cockpit. The Aircraft Electronics Association released its first quarter 2020 aviation market report. In the first three months of the year, total worldwide business and general aviation avionics sales amounted to more than $660 million, as reported by the participating companies. The figure represents an 8.8% decrease in total sales compared to the first quarter of 2019 amount. It also ended a streak of 12 consecutive quarters, with a reported increase in year-over-year -year sales. However, this year's first quarter sales showed a 3.2% increase compared to the same period two years ago in 2018, when sales were more than $639 million. Mike Adamson, AEA President and CEO, stated, with the passing of the January 1st deadline to equip aircraft with ADS-B out avionics in the United States, the end to a 12 consecutive quarters of sales growth may not come as a surprise. We also don't yet know the full extent and global impact of the economic damage caused by the COVID-19 pandemic near the end of the first quarter, and how it will weigh in on the industry and our market figures going forward. The continued operations of business and general aviation could provide a silver lining, while commercial aviation remains at a near standstill worldwide. And that wraps up our show for today. If you enjoyed today's show, be sure to click the subscribe button and to check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. To get more aviation and aerospace news any time of the day, head over to aero-news.net. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.